Hello, welcome to the weekly news show. We have nine items, so let's count it. Number one, Capcom Classic Street Fighter 2 is being re-released on Super Nintendo. That's right, they're making new cartridges for the Super Nintendo. They're going to have a red cart and a 555,000 limited edition glow-in-the-dark green cartridge. This is crazy, but it's good promotion for whatever Capcom's doing right now. Number two, Destiny gets rid of your biggest ingram ritual. No need to swap armor before decrypting. I have no idea what that means. Number three, Friday the 13th has new patches installed this week, but along with it came some new bugs. The current matchmaking issues are going back to the days that the game first came out, where it's taking a long time to find games and on the ps4 people find themselves alone i personally tried to play this game when the patch came out i couldn't find anyone to play with i was like i was off on monday and i was like man i there's no one to play with on a monday i guess everyone plays over the weekend i had no idea it had to do with this patch i just thought oh everyone back to school no one plays friday the 13th but it was because of this patch that no one was there and that kind of sucks because i people love this game they want to play it and now they're back to square one Whenever they're trying to improve the game, it's going back? That sucks. The good news is, is they did make the map smaller. They did make it whenever you're carrying items that you drop them on the ground and they don't disappear. You can no longer get harmed if Jason hits you through a window, which is a good and a bad thing. So I kind of suck as Jason and it's hard for me to kill people, so... Uh, number four, Sonic Forces is coming out and it showed off some of their new DLC and it's kind of weird. Controller skin, which people still do that. And there's a bunch of new outfits, Super Monkey Ball, Flying Knights, Jet Set Radio, and Persona 5. I, I have a prediction that Sonic Mania will sell more than Sonic Forces, but we'll see. <laughs> Number five, 50 weeks after its release, ReCore, the Xbox One exclusive, finally updates its game to make it like a good playable game. Yeah. Number six, Pokemon Go has new legendary Pokemon. Roku, an electric type legendary Pokemon. Inti, the fire type Pokemon. And Suicide Coon, a water type, who died in water suicide. That's a little dark for a kid's Pokemon game, but yeah, Pokemon's fun. Number seven, also in Nintendo news, guess what? If you have a Nintendo Wii and 3DS, then you're definitely not going to have the Wiiverse anymore. That's right. On November 7th, Nintendo is shutting down Miiverse. So if you like it, give your friends Miiverse and Converse away in it, because it will no longer exist. I've never used it. Number eight, PS4 is effectively dropping the price permanently to PlayStation VR. That's right, it just, it was dropped before, but now I guess they decided to stick with it. Maybe it made their sales go up. Who knows, maybe they're bleeding money and no one's buying the PSVR. Well, as of now, for $400, you can get the bundle with both the VR headset and the camera. That is a huge deal. Not a lot of people have the camera, so getting them together is great. And for $50 more, you could get two Move controllers and PlayStation VR Worlds, which is also great for $50 extra dollars you get the whole bundle all together, which is great. There are some really good games that are coming out this year for PSVR. We'll see if that'll push units. A lot of people weren't talking about PSVR. They haven't for the past year, actually. I'm still excited about it. Will I get that or the Switch? I did a video about if I'm gonna get the PSVR or the Switch for Christmas. Who knows? It's a tough battle. If PSVR goes any lower, which they might have to this Christmas to get people to buy it, I might consider it over the very cheap 
very fun Nintendo Switch. Finally, number nine, eSports is struggling to get into the Olympics. The co-president of the Paris Olympic Committee is not too thrilled about it. He's okay if people play sports games, but not violent games like Call of Duty or shooters or even violent games like beat-em-ups like obviously Mortal Kombat. But he, he's worried that there's hardly any regulation when it comes to esports, as there are other sports that are basically have a tradition and have been out longer. So esports is too young and it's hurting itself because people might be doping in esports. Yeah, let me juice up my hand so I can hold this controller or this mouse and keyboard for Dota 2. It's ridiculous. I have 13 items. On most people's favorite part of the show, Games this week. Number one, let's talk about Xbox Games with Gold. At the first part of the month for Xbox 360 is Hydra Thunder Hurricane. And for the second part of September, September 15th, on Xbox 360, you'll get Battlefield 3. On Xbox One, the first part of the month, you'll get Four is a five. <laughs> Going September 16th to October 15th? That's weird. Oxenfree will be available. So Oxenfree and Four is a five are really good games. That's pretty cool. Number two, let's talk about the PlayStation Plus free games that are coming out this week. Let's start with some small games. So if you're getting a PlayStation Vita, these PlayStation Vita games are crossed by with the PS4. You get Hodaful Boyfriend and We Are Doomed. That's right, super free. For PS3, back up now. These are some amazing games. You're going to get Handball 2016 and Truck Racer. In better news, with PS4 PlayStation Plus games, you're going to get Infamous Second Son, which I have to say, I actually really liked, and I think about it a lot, and I might actually go back to it, because I fully enjoyed playing it and unlocking everything. It was very fun. And this really cool shooter game, this flight shooter game called Strike Vector, which I'm totally downloading that and playing the poop out of it. That looks really fun. Number three, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle is out this week. It's getting really good reviews. I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's another reason to get a Switch because I've heard awesome things about it and I cannot wait to play it myself. Number four, Rock of Ages Bigger and Bolder. I played Rock of Ages for PS3. I thought it was pretty fun, but this one looks even better. If you want a game that's really fun and a co-op game, this looks right up your alley. It's fun, it's silly, it's stupid, it's weird. Everything I like in a game. I can't say I played it for a very long time, the original one. The second one actually looks really good. I... There's a lot of games out, and this one looks great, but... Man, it's going to be hard to find time for this one, but oh boy, does it look good. Number five, Surf World Series. Did you like Tony Hawk? Would you like all the fun of Tony Hawk without the levels or the progression or, you know, any of that? Well, you get to surf. You get to surf and you get to surf at different parts of the day and try different people and try different, like, wait, you do your, your surfboard and then you can be like, and you can do it against your friends. Surf, surf World Series it's coming out for all consoles. PS4, Xbox One, PC, yeah. Surf World Series. 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 Surf. 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 Surf
series. Number six, Spacebound. Spacebound is a cooperative platforming, kind of floating around platforming game where you and a cooperative person have to float around trying to traverse levels. And yes, this looks very, very fun, but it is actually very, very hard. And you will die a lot. I am scared of this game. I don't know anyone I'd play this with, but I wouldn't get in a fight with. So, oh no, I don't want to do it. No, no, no. Number seven, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Yes, it's that Battlestar Galactica game we all wanted and hope is good. Let's just hope it's good because I found a real short trailer. So who knows? It might be good. Should be good. It might be good. Should be good. Might, might, should be. Let's just hope. Let's hope. Number eight, Morph Girl. Morph Girl looks like a Sega CD game that they have just released. It's it's out for PC right now. And it looks weird and crazy and actually kind of scary. And you get to pick what you want this real life person to do in these situations. So there's like a, you can have wacky fun with your friends if you play this game in the middle of the night at a sleepover. Maybe when you're just drinking or something it looks great i plan on playing this game and it looks like something you play with friends or alone which i probably won't do because it looks a little scary Number nine, Detention. Detention is starting my PS4 games that I'll be talking about. Detention. Uh, whew. Saw the trailer, and I still don't know what this is about. It looks weird and scary and emotional and definitely a Japanese foo game. I mean, yeah, that is great. It looks good. Looks like a fun little game. I... I hope it's coming out for Vita because this is like a perfect Vita game, but it but this looks really really good, and I hope it does well. Number 10, last day of June. I've been looking forward to this game coming out. I cannot wait to play this game. It looks very colorful and emotional and like a journey, like a story I definitely want to play, get myself engrossed in, be part of this character's life and what he's going to. And I want to know what this story is. I want to know how it's going to affect me and the characters in it, how it's going to end. I love games like this. 
I cannot wait to sink my teeth into it. Number 11, Absolver. Absolver is an indie fighting game, multiplayer fighting game as well. It looks very fun, different. I did a whole video on this this week, and I am very much looking forward to playing this as well. It looks amazing. And I hope the fighting community likes it as much as I think they will, because I think this looks like it could change certain things in the fighting community. Number 12, Yakuza Kiwami. Kiwami or Kiwami? Sure. It's, uh, I think it's a remake of Yakuza 1. Uh, it looks very good. I have not played a Yakuza game yet, but I hear a rumor that all the Yakuza games are getting re-released on PS4. I actually would love to play through all the Yakuza games. They look very fun and interesting, and the fighting looks great, and I've heard very, very good things about them, so I can't wait to one day play through these, but hey, this one's out now, so maybe it's good. Number 13, the last game is Everybody's Golf. Yes, this is a golf game apparently I've been wanting because I haven't played a good golf game since, oof, I don't know. And from what I'm hearing, this is the golf game to get. It's most like the old golf games used to have on PS3 and uh, like Mario Golf, hopefully. I cannot wait to play this with other people, pass the controller, have fun hitting the links or the the grass whatever the whatever the term is thank you for watching the weekly news show please hit that like subscribe when you like what you see and remember you have all the news now do whatever you want with it thanks for watching